You know, I've been hearing that music in my sleep. In fact, when I come home, I say, honey, trumpets. Anyway, seven days to go, and the likes of Google, Verizon, Facebook are pulling out all the stops and all the checkbooks. They're spending big to promote an agenda that just might go down in flames next week, including pushing for more foreign work visas and more climate change fixes. Tracy, you say they could be rolling the dice, though, and, and get rolled in the process. Right? Absolutely. At the same time, I don't think they have a choice, Neil. Either At this point, you either... You're in it all the way or you're not. You can't be split in funds. So you've got to get in there as much as you can. But I think a lot of people are going to be disappointed at the end of the day. You know, Hadley, I was thinking of the ones, particularly those at Google, not everyone, but those who've been advocating, you know, where we're anything to do with climate change and any candidate who recognizes the severity of this crisis uh, has our backing and our support. And uh, if all those guys lose, and women, then, then, then what? There are a lot of issues coming up soon, Neil, uh, that tech companies have an interest in. Among those that you've already mentioned, there's net neutrality, NSA reform, and even a moratorium on Internet access taxes that's up for another vote on December 11th of this year. So, of course, they're, playing, they're paying attention. Um, but this cycle, it's very interesting. Google just surpassed Goldman Sachs, actually, in terms of campaign spending. And they're getting very evenly, pretty evenly, uh, among Republicans and Democrats when it comes to Google's PAC. But it did now, not. Some of the leaders you know, at Google. Right. It did not. Give start their, out their that private way. personal right. giving. It did not exactly. start out that way. Lizzie, what do you mean? Yeah, it did not start out that way. You're absolutely right. I think the, the, for companies, it's always a, if you're not at the table, you're on the menu. But with these guys, the tech giants, they're also worried See, this about. This is just free bennies you hand out to us if you're not on the. I sometimes listen to myself table. and annoy myself listening to myself. But hey, you know, the thing is, corporate tax reform. Now, the question is, will the president buckle down and finally say, you know what, I need to fix my legacy? I need. Stop thinking self-confidently that my thoughts are my hashtag, my thoughts are facts. <laughs> I need to fix things. So corporate tax reforms, and that, that matters for Apple, for Google, for Microsoft, because we now we have the EU cracking down on Ireland, right, and Ireland's tax mm -hmm. haven status. So we have Scotland's fight for independence. Right now it's about the European zone's countries fight for tax independence, and the tech giants see that coming. Yeah. Well, if a lot of the liberals, though, lose, though, uh, Tracy, you, they could read into that the inversion thing is going nowhere. Now, the president might try to rule by executive edict here, as he's going to do a lot of stuff like mm -hmm. that, which all the immigration and the rest, after the midterms. But what do you make of that? I think these guys are still way smarter than the people that actually write the rules, and they're going to figure something out. I mean, Luxembourg will be the next hotspot for tax and inverters, invader, whatever the right they the are. The crackdown, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you watch how they find somewhere else to go. These guys are not going to pay their full-blown tax bill until it is completely reformed. But, you know, Hadley, I wonder whether... Uh, Politicians are going to take note. If this is, as all the advanced press seems to read, a wave election year, or could be a very big win for, for Republicans, are, are businesses going to be able to move the needle on that? Are they going to take any credit for that? Or are those winning politicians going to go back to them and say, all right, whatever you want? I seriously doubt it. Well, given that so much uh, political donations from the corporate sector are divided among the two different parties, I think in this election cycle, that's indicative of the fact that these are close races, that uh, Google, like a lot of other tech companies and a lot of other corporations, are hedging their bets in terms of which friends they might have yeah, in Congress after find, the election uh, is over. Yeah, I always find it's, they started the year out, you know, really hedging their bets and going with Democrats. Then as it looked more and more like uh, Republicans had good inroads, then it was evening up. There's something to admire about that, but uh, I'm just pointing that out. It's like well, being a Giants fan and then you go to the Jets. Really? Well, you, in my case, neither. <laughs> you know, uh, was this football? You were making a football analogy? All right. Not, did anyone see this? Well, a lot of you think that guy jumping from space to set a record, but it was really rushing back to catch our nonstop election coverage. <laughs> you can start at 8 p.m. right here on Fox Business. I'm going to be all over the election results all night long. Every race in the